So today I'm talking about a Chevy or GMC P2135 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P2135 code? Well, it's a throttle pedal position sensor switch A slash B voltage correlation. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors located on the throttle body that to track the throttle body plate inside of here as it opens and closes. Because when you step on the gas, this is going to open up more and it's going to let in more air. And there's a sensor on it that's tracking this and reporting this information back to the onboard computer. And the onboard computer's seen a problem with this, so it's got to be troubleshooted to why. And quite commonly, when you get this code, the vehicle's going to go into limp mode. You might get something displayed on your dashboard saying reduce power or something along those lines. So that's very common. And so what are going to be some possible causes? Well, the most common cause is going to be that it just has a bad throttle position sensor and it needs to be replaced. But it can also be in the wiring. It might be a bad throttle body. It might be a bad accelerator position sensor and possibly a bad PCM. And so first of all, there can be some differences in what's going on with the throttle position sensor. Sometimes there'll just be one, and then sometimes there could be two, which are packaged together. For example, here's a 2001 Chevy S10, and it just has three wires going to it, and it just has one throttle position sensor. Here's another example of the wiring for a 2010 Chevy Equinox. And as you can see, it has two throttle body position sensors. So there can be some differences on exactly what's going on with the Chevy or GMC, depending on the model and the year and things like this. So definitely keep that in mind. And so the first thing to do is to locate the throttle position sensor and then check out the wiring going to it. Because if anything's wrong with that wiring, as a bad connection, open, short, anything like this, and then it's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So you want to go check that out and be sure that looks good. If the wiring all looks good, then the next thing to do is to test that throttle position sensor. There's some different ways you go about doing this. I made a video on how you go about testing these throttle position sensors. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link down below in the description. But the next thing to do is to either test or replace these throttle position sensors. And the throttle position sensor can usually be bought separately from the throttle body. Or you can just buy a whole new throttle body altogether with the throttle position sensor already on it. Sometimes it could be better just to buy a whole new throttle body unless you have experience swapping these out and taking them apart and things like that. But however you want to do it, the next thing to do is to test or replace that throttle position sensor. And one thing to mention is that when you do swap out that throttle position sensor or the throttle body, then there very likely is going to be a relearn procedure for the Chevy or GMC, which basically just means that the onboard computer needs to make small adjustments so that the engine runs better. You can not Google your specific Chevy or GMC vehicle and find out what the exact relearn procedure is. But for example, a very common one would be that you start the engine and let it idle for three minutes, then you turn it off for 60 seconds, then you start it again and you let it idle again for three minutes, and then you turn it off for 60 seconds, and then you drive it over 45 miles an hour for like three minutes, and the onboard computer will have enough information to do small adjustments so that the engine runs properly. But again, you can Google your specific vehicle. Quite often, you just need to drive the vehicle around and the computer will learn on its own. But just keep in mind that if you do swap those out, then you might have a relearn procedure. And one thing to mention that can sometimes cause this code is that some Chevy and GMCs have what's called an accelerator position sensor that's usually located on the pedal. And if that goes bad, sometimes it can cause problems and you can get this code. So if you do go through and you test that throttle position sensor and it's testing good, you can't find no issues in the wiring or anything like that, then check to see if your specific Chevy or GMC has what's called an accelerator position sensor. Because if it goes bad, it can also cause issues sometimes. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to make a quick video on how you go about fixing a Chevy or GMC P2135 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.